In this video, I've gathered the best settings for Apex Legends. I've tested all possible settings combinations on different computers, and settings in this video are what I found to be the best settings for Apex Legends overall. With the settings shown in this video and Apex Legends settings, you can expect an increase in performance, FPS boost, lower input lag and latency, and possibly reduce and stabilize your ping. But before that, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. It inspires us to make new and useful videos. Apex Legends Launch Options Add these commands to your Steam or Origin launch options to further improve game performance. The first command will give your game a higher priority than other applications running at the same time. The second command will preload various aspects of the game, which is useful for low-end GPUs. The third will remove the FPS limit in Apex Legends. The fourth command will force your game to run in full screen mode, since this setting often changes automatically. The fifth command skips the splash screen of the game each time it starts. You can copy these commands through the descriptions of this video. Best Apex Legends Graphics Settings One of the Mas Essential Settings tabs in Apex Legends since the settings you choose here will determine how your game looks and performs. Even players with the best hardware are lowering the graphics quality settings just for the game's smoothness, the higher FPS, and the competitive advantage you get by not being distracted by fancy graphics. Display Mode Set Display Mode to Full Screen. This ensures your game is given maximum resources. Aspect Ratio Keep this on native, for most people, this is 16 by 9. Resolution. Set your resolution to your native resolution. If you want to squeeze out extra FPS, you can lower your resolution. A lot of professionals like to play on stretches, but this is not related to FPS performance. Field of view. Depends on your preferences. This can be a very personal choice depending on your playstyle. The default is recommended. Higher FOV is better for large monitors with higher resolutions. Lowering the FOV will give an excellent performance boost. So I recommend adjusting this as per your needs. Sprint view shake, minimal. Minimal shake will be better for you to spot enemies during fights. V-Sync has a negative effect on your frame rate and your input lag, so it is best to keep it turned off. This is completely useless if you're using G-Sync monitor too. Video reflex. Enabled or enabled plus boost. One quick way to see a big improvement to your Apex Legends performance is to use NVIDI Air Reflex where it's available. This technology takes care of optimizing your GPU and CPU by itself. It can save you a lot of time if you're looking to improve performance without messing with every single setting. Nvidia Reflex can work great with Apex Legends. Make sure you've got this enabled if you're using components that can handle it. Some of the best GPUs at the moment are those that utilize NVIDI Air Reflex. Adaptive Resolution FPS Target 0. Meant to decrease the resolution to match your target frame rate, this setting only leads to jarring jumps in quality. Be sure to turn it off for consistent graphic fidelity and input lag. Adaptive Super Sampling Disable This setting is similar to Adaptive Resolution. It should, in theory, improve gamma play, but it only leads to jarring visual cues instead. Anti-aliasing. Off. If you want an FPS boost, you'd want to turn this off. Texture streaming budget. This setting is determined by the VRAM accessible in the settings of your graphic card. Bear in mind that any value past medium might affect the FPS, so if you want to maximize your FPS boost, then you should choose 3GB, even when you've got extra VRAM such as 4GB or 6GB. Texture filtering, set this as low as possible to free up your GPU. Ambient occlusion quality, low. This has quite a big effect on your frame rate. Sun shadow coverage, low, it is a strain on your PC and adds little. Sun shadow detail, low. In-game shadows are basically your enemy when it comes to getting a good frame rate. Spot shadow detail, disable this to gain around a 3% performance increase. Volumetric lightning, disable this. This setting determines whether sunbeams are cast. Disable to gain around 5% performance increase. Dynamic spot shadows, disabled. Model detail, low. Effects detail, low. This setting only affects explosions and other dynamic visuals. Keep this setting low. Ragdolls, low. So actually, you have to set almost everything on the lowest option to give you the best performance and FPS possible in-game except the texture streaming budget setting, on which you will have to experiment by yourself to find the best balance. Apex Legends NVIDIA Settings Optimization 
If you still want to squeeze some extra performance and you can't do much on the hardware situation, and you have a NVIDIA graphics card, it might be an idea to optimize some additional settings. Open the NVIDIA control panel and select Manage 3D Settings, choose Program Settings and select Apex Legends as your program to customize. Set an isotropic filtering to off. Set anti-aliasing, FSAT to off. Set anti-aliasing, gamma correction to off. Set anti-aliasing, mode to off. Set anti-aliasing, setting to none. Set anti-aliasing, transparency to off. Set maximum pre-rendered frames to 1. Set power management mode to prefer maximum performance. Set preferred refresh rate to highest available. Set shader cache to on. Set texture filtering, anisotropic sample option to off. Set texture filtering, negative LOD bias to allow. Set texture filtering, quality to high performance. Set texture filtering, trilinear optimization to off. Set threaded optimization to on. Set triple buffering to off. Set vertical sync to off. Discord hardware acceleration. A lot of you use Discord as preferred voice over chat while playing games with friends and family. Optimize it by turning off the option hardware acceleration if you notice FPS drops in games. It takes off some load of the application by using your GPU to make Discord smoother. Go to Preferences, Appearance, Turn off hardware acceleration. Those are the best Apex Legends settings that you can use to get a boost in-game. The results are going to vary a bit depending on your PC and setup though. Some players will need to dial visual flare all the way if they're after a high frame rate. Whereas others can blast everything on high without taking much of a dip. The important thing to keep in mind is that these are a starting point, you'll need to adjust depending on your personal situation and preferences. Well, that's all for me, I hope I helped you. If yes, then I ask you to subscribe to the channel and like this video. This inspires me to create new videos for you. See you soon, friends.